particular journey has been, like I said, very unconventional, very unusual. When you think about a person that has a PhD or is a researcher or a scientist, you don't necessarily uh, associate that with a person who's also been to Afghanistan, who also wears this particular uniform. And so um, all that to say, not in any way saying that you should also wear this uniform, <laughs> it's just me saying, think outside the box um, and, and create the life that you want to actually live. You get to create your story. There's not one set path to success. Um, the other thing is that opportunities will come to you. Um, don't embrace a scarcity principle or the scare scarcity theory, thinking that, oh, there's only a few opportunities. I I've got to get them, and I've got to knock this person out of the way to get there, and I've got to figure it all out right now. Like, it's, that's so false. Like, every real opportunity that's come in my life it just came to me. That door opened for me. I didn't have to knock anybody out of the way. I didn't have to fight for it. It just comes. And a lot of times, like, how did you know what to do? And how did you make that decision? The door is going to open. It's going to become clear. And you just walk into it. You try it. And, and you see how it works. If it's not a good fit, hey, there's a thing called a U-turn. Like, just back out of it. Try something else. Um, but I think one of the things that's really been super beneficial for me is embracing this abundance theory that there's more than enough to go around that there's enough opportunities for me and for you and for everybody else around me and when you embrace that theory you're more giving with opportunities and when you're more giving with opportunities i promise you you get so many more that come back to you like i get so many opportunities i can't i can't take advantage of all of them and that's awesome <laughs> because then i can funnel them towards other people um the other thing that i want to make sure i share about is Failing, part of life. <laughs> I'm a perfectionist, I'm slightly OCD, definitely type A, I don't like failing, but I've done it so many times <laughs> that it's not even funny. Um, and you know, it's not necessarily highlighted all through here, but all of this was lots of lessons learned, lots of bumps and bruises along the way. Um, and that's normal, that's okay. That's part of what makes the journey beautiful, that's part of what makes it interesting, and that's part of what makes you relatable to other human beings is to be able to embrace the fact that you're gonna fail, it's gonna happen, but you're gonna get back up. And you're gonna be able to learn from that experience and you don't have to do it again. Um, the other thing that I want people to understand is that you're definitely, we have more power than a lot of times we give ourselves credit for. And I say this out here, um, with my background and where I came from and the way that I saw the world, I assumed, well, I'm a black female, I came from a really rough beginning and rough start. I don't know, I'm younger than a lot of my other counterparts. Um, what am I gonna be able to do? What can I change? Does my voice really matter? And the truth of the matter at the end of the day, and I'm just now really like owning this and understanding what that really means is that I have so much more power than I ever would have imagined. Just in wearing this uniform, and I kind of talked about this a little bit um, before, not today, but last thing, um, this idea that just being seen, the fact of the matter is that being uh, a black female officer is rare. This is unusual, and the fact that this is why I purposely wore this uniform today, is because this is a vision that people don't normally see. And so just being seen in that way, that's me using influence, using power, using my voice. That's encouraging other people that are in the services to know that this exists. That's a possibility, that happens. Um, the other piece that I would just really wanna harp on is this idea of like sharing your story. Um, all of the stories are gonna be different. Um, and there was a long time in my life where I didn't want to really share my story because I wanted to blend in and I didn't really want people to like feel sorry for me and I was like, ah, uh, I want to, you know, seem like I already have it all together. Um, but then coming to an understanding that that's what makes me strong. The fact that I had to work so hard to get here. The fact that when I look at my counterparts and I see that we're in the same place. We're in the same exact place. We've got the same rank. And I look at them and I say, I know I had to work a trillion times harder to get here. There's something, I don't know, there's like a self-pride that I'm able to kind of tap into and embrace at that point um, that lets me know that my story is important, that my voice is important. 
Um, and so with that, I also have a strong belief in, to your own self be true. You don't have to fit somebody else's mold. You don't have to compare yourself to the person sitting next to you.